Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving Hello! Today I've been working on this garden bed all day pretty much. I've been uh, digging holes for the plants that I got um, from my recent video. Um, and yeah, I've been digging holes and I'm trying to organize them. I moved some uh, plants around just because they're too small. So I'm moving them forward. Uh, but yeah, let me show you. Oh, one thing that I've been doing so I got some uh, terracotta pots and it gets so hot here that the the plants need a lot of water they get really thirsty because the water evaporates so easily from the pots so what I'm doing since my soil is like just pure clay I'm adding some at the bottom of my pots hoping that it helps the water not to drain so fast um, so I don't know if it's gonna work but I mean I'm gonna try hopefully it works so let me show you what I've been doing back here I want to put this guy the philodendron <laughs> right here so this right here was the hardest this one took me a long time to do this hole um, so I was watering it and waiting for the soil to absorb the water and then digging that way the soil wasn't so um, hard i'm gonna add a little bit of worm castings give it a little mix <clears throat> so this is the big leaf philodendron I did water it today I've been in the garden all day <laughs> pretty much I just go inside um, and you know feed my baby and put him to sleep and I just came outside and work in the garden. I feel like it's a little crooked. But it's been a nice day. It feels good to be out here making the garden look pretty. It was just way too hot. I look like a tomato. Tomato, by the way, I need to trim my tomatoes again. They're getting a little crazy. And I need to harvest more tomatoes. I was processing some today. I had way too many on my kitchen table. So I was blending some and freezing them. Uh, that way, you know, if I want to make a uh, pizza sauce or a soup or something I can just throw it in there okay so now the hibiscus so this one is called the Luna hibiscus it has some very beautiful flowers I really like them let me get more soil. <clears throat> okay. Okay. You got another one down. I just need to water it. I've had this plant. I mean, it's supposed to be like a like a like a bush, but it's not doing anything. I think it's because of my soil. I think it's like too hard for the roots to spread. And um, I mean, it's kind of living, but it's not thriving. 
So I'm just gonna keep it there and hopefully it does something one day. I got this plant. This is called the canna lily. It does say that it likes like rich soil. So I'm gonna add some compost to it. Let's see. I'm really pushing on it just in case if there's any um, bubbles in between the soil and the plant just to break them and make sure that it's all filled up and you know the roots are not exposed to air. And so I have a few of these in my garden like little tiny pots but because so hot the plants don't do that well so I was thinking what if I put like little succulents and just kind of put them in between in between the plants that would look kind of cute huh um, and then during the winter I can just take them inside and put them by the window and then in spring I just take them out so I might do that. I'm gonna add some potting soil and I'm gonna add a few flowers, flowers on these things. I think this one will be nice here. I think I'm gonna do one per pot. And I was looking at this fern and it's getting sunburn. So I'm gonna try to find a better spot for it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna let it sit there and I'm gonna go do other stuff while it waters. So I need more soil. Ooh, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Should be good. Okay, so this is the purslane plant. Purslane. It's an odd name for it. Oh man, it really needed a pot. The roots are very tangled up. Welcome to your new home, little plant. I can never put my plants like right in the middle. I always put them like to the side. <laughs> yep, I did. They're never centered for some reason. There she is. Little Miss Purslin. She's in her new pot. There she is. Awesome. Okay. I 
I need to invest in some kind of irrigation system, but I don't know much about them. I'm gonna have to do like a little research and um, find what's best for me. Cause it's pretty, it's pretty exhausting to be watering every day. Um, so we'll see how, what I can come up with so I can water my plants. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs So, I want to put this plant in this pot so I can make it go up the frame of my back door. But I don't want to get rid of these plants. I know they look kind of kind of ugly because they're dying. But I feel bad killing them. I don't know how this basil is like a weed in my garden. I find it everywhere. So I'm gonna have to pull one of these plants and I'm gonna put this girly in here. So hopefully it can grow around my door frame. Let me get a little shovel. So let's see. Ugh, there's a big old worm. I do not like worms. I know it sounds silly. <laughs> Cause I love to garden, but worms give me the heebie-jeebies. I don't like it. They're so weird. I know they're good for my garden and that's why like I keep them around <laughs> but I don't like them awesome okay so we just need to water it and I think that's it for planting so let's leave that there Let's see if I can give this plant a new home. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna put it here just for, you know, just to see what it does. But yeah, I think that is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.